can take your equipment anywhere you want um, if it's nice out get outside um, if you have enough room for a jump rope um, definitely try to get that in and if you don't we'll definitely have modifications if you have nowhere to jump um, but warm up for tomorrow we're just gonna go through it one round and then we're gonna go into two rounds of our specific warm-up for the conditioning um, so warm-up first part is gonna be 20 good morning so I'm going to have a slight knee bend from here, I'm hinging at the hip and only going as far as I can maintain a flat back. All right, so you should feel a good stretch through your hamstrings. Uh, we don't want you going all the way down. Only go, go as far as you can maintain that flat back. Stand back up, all right? Your feet are about hip width apart. Um, then we're going into our 10 push-ups. So push-ups on the floor, on a bench, chest is touching, back up. Otherwise, you can go down to your knees if you need to. Um, 10 push-ups, um, 20 calf raises, so just getting up on those tippy toes, getting those calves warm for jumping later. 30 bunny hops, so bunny hops, we're just going up and down forward, um, and then 30 lateral hops, so pretend you have a line, you're hopping side to side over that line 30 times, um, and then 20 arm circles, so however you want to do that, if you want to go into 10 backward, 10 forward, um, whatever feels good, basically trying to get those arms a little bit warm um, then you guys we're gonna go into two rounds of what our workout is today so this is our teaching portion for today um, so the workout is every two minutes for eight rounds so you're going for 16 minutes today um, well tomorrow but today um, it starts with 20 Russian dumbbell or kettlebell swings followed by 40 double unders 80 single unders um, 80 plate step ups um, basically 80, 80 of anything to get that heart rate a little bit up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, for the warm up today, jump rope. Um, those of you that have your rope doing double unders, you're going to do 40 reps of that. So rope is going twice under my feet. Um, otherwise we are doing our 80 single unders. Um, if you guys still want to practice jumping, but maybe you're in a place that ceiling's not quite high, quite high enough, excuse me, um, but you still want to jump. Um, you can go to your penguin jumps. So penguin jumps were just basically same thing I would be doing with my rope for a double under, but as I jump, I'm hitting my legs twice. Um, so you're going to get the same effect out of it as you would for a double under. Um, if none of those are an option, you have your plate. Um, it can be anything really, um, really anything up to 12 inches um, is going to be easy. Um, and we're going to do 40 step ups on the plate. So nice and quick, trying to get that heart rate up, stepping up, stepping down. All right. So you determine uh, the height, kind of how fast you move on those. If for some reason you do not have anything um, that fits that, either reach out to me and we can discuss something that will fit the stimulus. Um, or sub anything that would be a cardio exercise. So say you have a bike, a treadmill, anything like that, that's a totally perfect sub there. Um, <clears throat> so then we have our kettlebell swing or our dumbbell swing. So they are Russian swings, meaning we are not going all the way up and overhead. I'm only gonna go to my eye level. So if I'm using my kettlebell, my feet are gonna be about shoulder width apart. I'm hanging the kettlebell between my legs and then I'm making sure that when I go down I'm not dropping my chest kettlebell is not going below my knees so dropping down and then as I'm squeezing my glutes I'm only getting that kettlebell to eye level all right so from the side same thing I'm still maintaining that tight core nice tight back squeezing my glutes letting my hips and legs do the work 
All right. So same thing, you guys, if you have a dumbbell, same effect, same form, just a little bit of a different grip, but you're still gonna get the same thing out of it. So we have 20 of those. So that part of the warm up, taking a step back, you have two rounds, 20 jump ropes, or whatever exercise you pick for that, 10 kettlebell swings, um, just priming that movement for the conditioning. <clears throat> All right, then going into your workout, every two minutes for eight rounds, 20 of our kettlebell swings only going to that eye level, um, and then 40 double unders, 80 single unders, or 40 plate step ups, um, or step ups, whatever works for you. Um, and then again, if you do not have anything within that, um, that you can do in your home, please reach out to me and we will make something work. Um, and then strength for tomorrow. Um, we have four sets of max effort single arm upright rows. So you're gonna be doing one arm at a time. Um, kettlebell or dumbbell work fine. So you guys are basically going to a burnout. Upright row. I am standing nice and tall. It is just like a high pull um, in our snatch or our clean. One arm, keeping everything nice and tight. My elbow is coming high and back, all right? So from that side position, all right? So what I am not doing is I am not bending over to kip that row, all right? Nice and high. So as you start to feel yourself get tired, you'll probably feel that little hinge where you're trying to let your hip do the work. We want this to be your trap, your upper back, doing all that work. Same thing with the kettlebell. Movement's gonna look exactly the same. So you guys do four sets of that. So you would go right arm till you can't do anymore, left arm till you can't do anymore, rest as needed. So um, no time component on that. Just take a good amount of rest um, before you get into that, that next set. All right, um, have fun with this one guys.